Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the importance of injecting dependencies correctly uh, using the array syntax. You will find a lot of examples, uh, including those on angularjs.org, uh, not using the, the uh, array syntax, which is fine for a very small bit of code that you're not going to be minifying, and, and uh, more specifically, you're not going to be uh, uh, uglifying, I guess is the word. Uh, so I wanted to just show you how that works really quick. So I've got a HTML page here wired up with an app. I've got a controller called the controller as usual, and I'm just outputting something called the message. I've got Angular, and I've got the script called app. It does absolutely nothing right now because I have not built the actual app. So fairly quickly, we are going to module. We're going to call it app as usual and it won't have any dependencies. And here's our controller called the controller. And uh, so now you've seen me do this a hundred times. Normally I go, now we're going to inject scope. Uh, and that works like this. And then I pass in scope. And in our case, we want to have this value called message. So scope.message equals hello world. Uh, so that's our app. It's going to work just fine. Uh, but what you will find online is a lot of times uh, people won't include the array syntax. And that's fine. In this example, it totally works. I'm refreshing here. It totally works. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, however, when you get to minification, uh, you're going to run into a problem. Uh, and again, specifically when you get to uglifying code or whatever they want to call it, uh, it's going it, to, there's a potential that it's going to change the name of this variable that's passed in and where it's used in order to minify it. And when you're working on a large code base, uh, that's something you want. I mean, you want to minify that code as much as possible. So if I come down here, I'm in this min directory where I've got this code, I'm going to say, uh, uglify js app.js. Uh, the output is going to be app.min.js. So now when I do that, I'm not going to run into a problem. Uh, so let's see, here's our code, and I'm just going to switch that over to min.js and run that really quick. Reload, and it works fine, and that's because I didn't uh, allow it to change any of the variables. But once I do that, so in uglify, you pass in the, the mangle uh, flag. Once I do that, you can see here, now I've got it changed the uh, name of these variables, and so when I refresh this, it is not working. Uh, so now if I go back here, and let's just do this the right way. So now I'm injecting it with this uh, array syntax. See, now it doesn't even matter. I can change it here. I just call it uh, uh, S. It doesn't even matter uh, because I've passed it in myself. Uh, so let's just take a look at that really quick with the regular app. That works, no problem. You're totally allowed to do that. When it gets to the function, uh, you can go ahead whoops, and change that. Uh, but, uh, so if I put it back this way, uh, this is going to work now. So let's minify that. We've got our code here. And what you can see, it maintained the array syntax. So scope is equal to this L value, or this L variable that's passed in. And so if I go ahead and change this back to the min, save that. So it's working. Uh, so the basic premise is, uh, while it might take a little extra typing, uh, you're better off passing in your dependencies the proper way uh, because especially if you're working on something in production or that's going to go into production, uh, minification is bound to come up and when it does, your application may break if you weren't uh, injecting those dependencies properly. Uh, so there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.